Why not? Hang on. It's a new risk she gave us, Yeah, what's happening, mate? Did you receive my email about the video that I've put out about all the injustice that's happening to me? I haven't, I haven't checked and I've been a little bit out of, in and out of the office. And obviously it's a public holiday, so I'm out of the office at the moment as well. But I haven't had a chance, no. Is it a public holiday today? It is, yes. All right. So Tash isn't coming today. Um, not sure about the schedule. That's going to be the core team. But uh, look, if, if he's... What, what time is he usually coming across? He usually to? comes at 9 o'clock. Or 9.30. At what time, sorry? 9.30. Okay, yeah. So if he's not there, then yeah, it's probably because of the public holiday. Well, why am I being moved on? Money's the problem, mate. Why am I being moved on when... The money I'm owed hasn't been collected or or fought for. Fought for by yourself or who? You, me, whoever. I'm owed millions of dollars, mate. Why are we moving me on to homelessness? I think it's pretty audacious. I mean, I thank you for. I've always expressed my gratitude for being here, but you've actually evicted me and got someone else in, and I have nowhere to go, mate. Who's going to um, accept a dog and me? I've made, I've got no money. I've got bills and I've got other stuff going on. So you've got a person in your house with no money and a dog and you've got to remove them and relocate them because you're getting someone else in. What are you going to do? Yeah, that's something I guess your, your L, L3 coordinator and Matthew has been working on, but we'll, we'll sort something out for you. You're the boss. You are the boss of them. I'm asking the boss. Where am I going? I don't know the exact address of where you're going, but they'll find you a spot. They'll find me a spot? Yeah. I've got no money, mate. They won't leave you on the road. Don't worry, don't worry about that. Well, I, I, I've got to wonder. I've really got to wonder. The rest of the world's yeah. left me on the fucking road. Well, remember I told you I'm not going to leave you on the road, and obviously I, I hope you understand I did fulfil my promise, and I, I still stand by I me. Mean, no, no one wants you to your promise, can I just say here, and I've got it here, is um, you're going to keep me here until long-term accommodation can happen. That's your promise. You've broken your promise, mate. No, no, I didn't break my promise. You know, I'm writing today to formally confirm Mr. McLean has been residing in our support accommodation facility until he secures suitable long-term accommodation arrangements. That's your promise. No worries, no, no, lots of fucking worries, mate. Lots of fucking worries. I'm worried that I'm going to be in a shit place. I'm worried about being having no rights. I'm worried about having no help, no health care, no legal help, and being cut out of the Australian fucking government. I've got a letter from the Prime Minister telling me to go to the Attorney General, who tells me to go to IGIS and tells me to go to the Commonwealth Ombudsman, and I'm already fucking locked out from there. This is a fucking conspiracy to pervert the course of justice. I've got no help. I've been trying to fucking tell people for so long. I've got a video that I've sent to you, and that video actually complains about you for not fucking, for, for focusing on my poverty and putting me in a, a place where I've got to go without acknowledging the whole fucking other story that's going on. And you know what? You've now become a part of my fucking oppression because you're, Moving me on, it's fucking stressful having no money and being between places. You don't know where I'm going. I'm on a fucking knife sedge, mate. Right, right. Watch the fucking video. I've got no rights. I made millions of dollars and you're the fucking boss of who's looking after me and you've evicted me. I'm fucking angry, mate. Oh, mmm. Yeah, very fucking nice reply, mate. You're in a conceited amount of audacity and privilege sitting there high up with all your money and all your houses just shuffling people around. You know, you've got a lot of privilege, mate. You are supposed to be looking after people with a disability. Well, guess what? You've fucking got one and you've also got a scapegoat who is the victim of a fucking conspiracy. And now you're in on it. You are one of my abusers. You have forcing me on into unsuitable accommodation. I don't know fucking where. 
when you haven't acknowledged the fucking millions of dollars of the conspiracy that's fucking going on. You are a part of the fucking problem. I have just sent an email to you yesterday and I've said to the fucking NDIS and every other cunt that was on it that it's, it's not okay that I have no human rights. It's not okay that there's a fucking conspiracy happening. The Charter of Human Rights of the person with a disability state the reasonable accommodation must be provided. They haven't fucking done it. Not the Prime Minister, not you, not the NDIS, no one. And the Australian fucking Human Rights Commission won't even fucking acknowledge that my human rights are being abused for one of your fucking staff. Okay. I have got Tash and he's documented my human rights abuses. He is an employee of your company. I have emailed you that document and I said, will you report my human rights abuses to the Australian Human Rights Commission? Mr. McLean, I'll have to give you a call back, all right? I'll have to give you a call back. All right, we'll speak soon.